Hello and welcome to Lord Nerd Reviews. Today we will be reviewing the Lightning Collection Black Ranger with Dragon Shield from Hasbro. It's a spontaneous review as we only just found it at Forbidden Planet yesterday and I wanted to get it done yesterday but to be honest it was just a bit too late and there was no light so I couldn't do it. As you can see the box is black with the gold dragon shield detail around the actual art. The art is fantastic as usual. The biop is the same and everything is really the same on the box except the black. So let's now move on to the actual figure. So as you can see here, the Black Ranger figure has the dragon shield. Now the paint looks a bit better on mine at least than it did on the gold ranger red ranger pack and i mean that in the sense of the actual gold on the figure the only problem here is that you get the open blade blaster whereas in the other one you get the collapsed one the sculpt is pretty much exactly the same apart from the power coins and the helmet and of course the head that you get now i didn't get the other box but i can imagine it's the same so let's actually flip this around and have a look at the back. As you can see, the back and the side is exactly the same. It's a nice sculpt, so we can't really say much about it. The articulation is exactly the same as the other figures as well. So there's not really much to say apart from the fact that I do think some of the joints are a bit too tight. But other than that... There's not really much to complain about. I would recommend at least hitting this with a hair dryer just around the joints so you don't end up snapping something when you're trying to pose him. But he poses really well. Everything you see in front of you is what you get in the box, apart from a extra fist hand. I had uh, the extra fist hand from the White Ranger on the figure for the first half, just to give it kind of like an impression. The hands from the White Ranger do work on this figure. Just want to say that quickly. The sculpt on the helmet and the everything else is really good. No real paint defects. As you can see, the silver perfectly shines in the light, which is nice. There's like a gloss coat to it which I'll cover in a second when I actually get a deeper look at the helmet. You get a blast effect which fits into the uh, power axe and all the hands are great. Standard karate chopping hand comes with it. Let's move on to the helmet. So as you can see with the helmet it's a nice black. You've got a silver trim around the visor to separate the two blacks even though the visor is in a matte coat and the helmet is in a gloss coat. At least they've actually painted the trim this time. The Mastodon's tusks are a nice metallic silver, but not the same shiny silver that you have on the mouthpiece, which is pretty show sure accurate. And you get the nice white lines on the nose piece. The eyes are also gold. On the back, you get the details from the sculpted on ears. And the only main gripe is the paint scratch on the inside around where the neck is. But that's about it. It's not visible, it's not viewable, it's fine. It's a good mold. And I'm guessing it works with the other figures as well. So we'll find out. So this is the Power Axe. It's painted really nicely. The silver on the badges and on the barrel are in metallic silver. The yellow stripes are painted on the axe blade. As you can see, it's slightly shiny. Um, the whole material is a soft plastic which I'll get to in a minute. The silver spike on top is there, the sculpt on the badge is nice, uh, the barrel has a hole in it for the blast effect as you can see. It's a nice deep silver and it's not too deep because the blast effects main peg isn't too deep. Let's put that in there now just to kind of show you. The blast effect of itself is nice. It's a nice transparent blue. It's kind of wonky, but that can be fixed with a hairdryer, to be honest, because it's made out of like a really soft material, like really soft, you see it's squidgy, and you can just move around. I mean, you know, it could be fixed. It can be fixed, because um, at least you're not gonna poke your eye out on it or anything, because it's just really soft there, and you can just move it around really easily. The whole, the whole weapon's made out of the same material, which is good, because then you don't have to worry about snapping it. Because a lot of these blast effects have long pegs which you can snap when you take it out. But yeah, it's really nice. 
uh, it can hold in the hand. So it doesn't, it's not so simple to put in because you, you kind of got to stretch the hand out a bit. So you can see me struggling to put it in. But yeah, it holds it. You can shake it around, do whatever you want with it. It won't fall out. See, there you go. Real nice. I did get it to hold the axe at the barrel, but uh, I mean, you know, it was a bit of a struggle. Got to heat that up just to get it to hold it. So yeah, pretty good. Let's move on to comparisons. So here he is with the rest of the wave one. I'm not sure which wave he comes from, but this is him with the ones I have. I didn't get Lord Zed or anything because Lord Zed doesn't speak to me. I might get him later if I want a villain. We'll find out. But yeah, here he is. Uh, he's shorter than Tyler and Doggy. I think he, he looks taller than Tommy there, but that might just be the head. But yeah, really nice. All these figures are fantastic. All well done. You know, some of the paint is being a bit sketchy here and there. But all in all, Hasbro are doing a really good job, especially with the Mighty Morphing line. But then again, it's to be expected. Every company does well with the Mighty Morphing line, even if the old legacy figures weren't so great. This has been the uh, Lightning Collection Dragon Shield Ranger with the Black Ranger. Thank you for joining us today. Like, share, and subscribe for more. And as always, have a nice day. This has been Lord Nerd Reviews. See you next time.